I'm so excited. Perfect. What's up guys? So today is a very exciting day. As you guys know, we raise butterflies and whatnot. I had my momager over here reach out to a lovely company, Nature's Gift. Nature's Gift decided we were worthy of some caterpillars. We got painted ladies, baby. And we've never done these. We've never done painted ladies. <laughs> so we're super excited. Let's open it up. And it says, urgent, open immediately. So we're gonna do that. <laughs> I'm nervous, I gotta open it carefully. Got it. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so they sent us a little net to raise them in. Oh, turn it over. Oh. Oh, 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 so that's the, oh, so we got the butterfly food, oh, and the sugar, and a little mister bottle. <laughs> nice. Now the moment of truth. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. How many did they send us? Looks like two. Oh my gosh. Oh, they're little babies. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow, it looks like we've got six. Yeah, six in here, five in here. Unless, oh, there's one up on top. Oh, and six in here. Wow. They sent us a dozen. Nice. Oh my gosh. So in it comes. Whoa. <laughs> that was funny. A lovely spring loaded butterfly net. That's kind of cool. Also comes with the butterfly feeder. Oh, oh, nice. So this is actually really smart. You put, I guess, the sugar water in here and it soaks up through the cotton and then they can just sit on top and eat and so that they don't get wet. Smart, smart stuff. And then it comes with a little spray bottle. Oh, so you can mist them. And yeah, I have no idea what these are. I think these are instructions. <clears throat> Ooh! Oh, we got a nice little colorable. Yeah. With all the stages. That's yeah. cute. Okay, look carefully at your caterpillar cup and you will see there are tiny holes. Punched in the lid for air. Your caterpillars will only need food on the bottom of their cup to grow and thrive. Oh, in the wild, they like mallow and hollyhock plants. But our special concentrated diet is great for them. That explains why we've never been able to find them. Because I've never been able to find them, like, in the wild to raise them, so. Yeah. Well, hollyhocks are a plant that usually people plant, though. Oh, uh, okay. And they grow real tall. Now watch as they eat, crawl, spin silk, and grow to many times their original size. Don't worry if they do not move for the first day or so. This is normal. While they're eating and growing, you will see little balls at the bottom of the cup. Um, oh, caterpillar poop. <laughs> <laughs> it should be left in the cup. While the caterpillars are in the cup, you may gently pick up the cup and look at them, but do not shake it or be rough with them. Keep the caterpillar cup at 68 to 78 degrees and out of direct sunlight. Okay, so after reading the instructions, it would appear that um, we, just let, we just let these guys do their thing in here. And, um, and that's how that goes. And you just keep watching them grow. I don't know, like, I, they're all moving around. They all, they all made it. There are going to be some big ones in there. I would rather have these open because. And let them do their thing in here. Because otherwise they're going to spin their chrysalis Up in the, here. Yeah. And you're going to have six big chrysalis hanging. So my thought is, um, they look like little, um, little cuties. Yeah. So my thought is I'm going to, I think I'm going to open them up. Oh wait, but they might be too small. Oh, how big's their mesh? I think our mesh is smaller than that. Yeah. We need to wait till they get a little bigger. It appears we're going to wait till they get a little <clears throat> bigger. 
Can this is nice though. It's got the clear solid top. Yeah. Hey little buddies. They're going to be butterflies soon. <laughs> okay, so it's oh hello, you gonna get up on my there we go, okay. So it's the next day with the excitement of opening the package last night. I didn't um fully read the instructions, but I did now. <laughs> Apparently you're not really supposed to open the uh Tatum. <laughs> Apparently you're not really supposed to open the lids on these guys because it says uh, to help keep bacteria out and everything that just keep it closed. They've got all the food and air that they need in here apparently. Um, so yeah, I also found out that these little clippy clips that I showed before and was like I have no idea what they are. So apparently these guys will go up and form their chrysalis on the top here like they do you know for all the caterpillars but if you can see there's this like little mesh fabric piece so i guess they attach their chrysalis to that and once they've all got their chrysalis on there then you take this cloth with them on it out and with a, a little clippy and apparently you kind of like pin it to the side of this i think i think that's what i gathered so that then when they come out of their chrysalis, they'll have, you know, space to do so. Um, I don't know, I think that's, if I read it correctly, I think that's what we do, so. But yeah, um, all 12 of them seem to be, I think, doing okay today. <laughs> they all, I think, are doing good. And so I will update you guys, um, you know, with the progress of them. And unfortunately, um, I told you guys in the video with Nate, my swallowtail, that I was going to make more videos with him while he was alive. Um, time got away from me, and unfortunately, um, he only lived like nine or ten days. So, he's now here, um, and I'm just waiting and trying to figure out the best way that I want to preserve him, whether it's going to be resin or not, I don't know. Someone in the comments though did ask um, for me to show putting a butterfly in resin because I showed you guys that I do have these two in resin. And now that I think about it, I can't believe I didn't make a video putting either of them in resin, so I'll definitely do that. Um, just gotta figure out if that's what I want to do or how I want to put him in resin rather and then also the other really sad news um, unfortunately we lost Diana the mantis Faye and deity are still doing great though if you guys have been keeping up with the mantis videos that I've posted um, I mentioned that they've been having kind of like a hard time molting not so much like during the molting process, but like they're not molting as often as they should be. A couple days ago, I noticed Diana was up on the top and I thought she was getting ready to molt. And then she like secreted this like out of her butt. And it's hard to tell on camera, but it looks like dried blood. I don't know if mantises like even have blood like i don't know what that was <laughs> but when i saw it i figured i would like leave her alone not bother her because maybe it's some sort of stress thing i don't know but then um like a day or two later i went to check on her and she was just down at the bottom of the cage enclosure jar whatever we call this um yeah and i took her out and put her in the sun and was like breathing on her because I thought maybe she'd gotten cold because my room had been kind of cold that night. Um, and she was like twitching for a little while, but then she finally just stopped all together. It was kind of sad. Um, but um, my mom always says one door closes, another one opens. The same day that she passed, the same morning, we got the butterflies in the mail, so, you know. But I do want to put um, Diana in resin, but I want to make, like, a little necklace out of her because as morbid as it sounds, like, 
I am kind of glad that she's still so tiny when she died because um, I thought I could get like a really small necklace resin mold and put her in resin and then I don't know I can keep her with me forever because if she was big when she died um, I wouldn't be able to do that which I would have rather had her live and be big than have her little and a small necklace. You guys know what I mean. Um, so yeah, if anyone has any tips on how would be the best way to put her in resin and make it a necklace, otherwise I gotta, I gotta go check at Michael's and see what I can do. But yeah, so anyways, stay tuned for um, more Caterpillar updates and also um, Mantis necklace updates. Thank you guys so much for watching. Oh, and I forgot to mention, if you do want to order caterpillars or painted lady butterflies or tadpoles, hermit crabs, uh, Venus flytraps, uh, earthworms, or ants, if you want to order any of those, um, if you click the link in my bio or, or down below that I'm going to put, um, Nature's Gift was actually nice enough to give your girl an affiliate code so if you guys um, do want to buy anything from them um, use my code in the bio in the link in the description whatever you call it because it really actually helps me out and um, I think that's it so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time